So, uh, GPT 5.1 has been released uh, basically just a couple of days ago. We've already checked out, we've already been talking a little bit. Uh, and I actually already have access to it, okay? Right here, so you can see GPT 5.1. Um, but is it actually a, a game changer for God of Devs? Is it actually that different from GPT-5? Uh, that's what we're gonna be checking out in this video. So for this, let's say that I have this very simple God of Game, okay? It's basically a, one of the templates from Kenny's website. Uh, and let's say that we want to integrate some changes into the project, okay? So for example, as you've seen, whenever we kill an enemy, uh well nothing happens it just gets deleted so how can we make that interaction a little bit better so i actually want to show you something practical so let's first see, check the enemy and here we may have a, a clue on uh, when this object gets destroyed it's over here in this destroy function so what i will do i will press ctrl a as you can see this will select everything and then i will press ctrl c uh sorry ctrl c to copy it okay as simple as that or you can also right click press copy then what i will do over here uh the way in which GPT 5.1 works, it is the exact same one. You have the auto mode, which decides how long to think. So let's say that it chooses between instant and thinking. Um, and we also have the legacy models. We have GPT 4.0, the previous version, okay? Uh, previous, previous version, okay? And uh, 5 thinking and 5 instant, okay? So what we're gonna do over here, I will just thinking in this case. And remember that thinking, you have the same modes, standard and extended. I think that standard should be just fine. And let's tell it to uh, add some uh, twin or juice to the destroy interaction. Okay, as simple as that. It should basically add uh, one twin, okay, with some scale effect maybe or something like that. So let's see if it is able to do it and also how much time um, it takes to generate the answer. Then we'll actually regenerate the same answer we'll use the same prompt and we will do it with gpt5 okay just so that if ju just so that we see if there are any improvements or not however what i do want to uh, put a point here is that um gpt5.1 is not actually uh an update meant to be super technical okay uh, that it's meant to give you better code or anything like that even though it's me it's mentioned here like smarter but it's too general uh, it's more, I believe, uh, it, this update is more like conversational than um, than smarter, okay? Uh, more conversational, conversational than smarter. Uh, because if you take a look at the article which we have done in one of the previous videos, you will see that mostly all is about personalization, about making the AI sound more human-like, but not actually about making it like more smart, more smarter, uh, smarter code-like, okay? Um, so as you can see, it took something like 51 seconds. As you can see, we still have no syntax highlight. Even though here it's able to recognize the script, it doesn't highlight it, uh, the, basically the syntax. So what it's telling us here is to uh, replace this destroy function. So let's copy it, okay, and go here to go. Dot, look for this destroy function, and I'll just paste it right there, okay? So it does seem to have done the correct job. Uh, at least it seems so. Uh, but let's check it out. It's also, I would say, pretty clean. So that's uh, pretty good. Um, and let's just hit play, okay? And let's see if we are able to have something a little bit better, okay? And as you can see, it's very good, okay? It's, like, really, really good. The effect, of course, it can be, of course, improved, but we have a very, a very good effect that we can start playing with, okay? Okay, so yes, I, I, I sincerely like it a lot. We have some problems here in the debugger, uh, which I don't really know where they are coming. They are coming here, line 47. Here we see it set parallel. I don't really remember what this did. Uh, the tweeners append after... Okay, it's like a sequence of unity. Uh, but yeah, I don't know why it's grabbing this error. So what I will do, I will copy the error, paste it to GPT, and let's see if it's able to uh, generate a response. And while we're getting this uh, answer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this prompt. I'm going to open a brand new chat over here. I'm going to use the same uh, standard thinking. We use standard. Oh, we use extended here? That's weird. I thought we have selected standard. Well, I, I don't really know. Uh, let's switch to GPT-5 thinking. And let's give it the exact same prompt as you can see. And let's see what it's able to come up with. Let's see if here... Well, it hasn't yet been able to solve the issue even though as you can see we have asked for something relatively simple this should be way faster uh once again 
This is an update not meant to be 100% for coding or anything like that. It's actually most about the personalization. So now, for example, you have more base style and tone. So you have select here the tone. You can have some more professional, more friendly, uh, more efficient, more cynical as I have it here. Uh, you can even type your own custom tracks. I don't know. I want you to be uh, chatty, Gen Z, humble, outside the box, corporate, all this kind of nouns okay that you or actually adjectives that you can select over here that could be interesting okay so here we have a thought for 36 seconds that error uh, that error is going again i tried to invert a basis with terminal zero i don't have literally no idea you give it a transform with a zero scale or otherwise degenerate and something like luca tried to invert i told you to twin scale to vector three dot zero so yes that's on me okay no i i don't really know a lot about uh uh, twin singles to be 100% honest uh but i anyway, i wanted to try it out because it's something that is really tedious to do 100% alone a lot of times so let's just check if it was able to do it over here so let's try to kill an enemy okay and now the error is gone and the uh, the um, the error is gone and the effect is still there okay so that's pretty good although maybe the explanation was not the best one but that's maybe because like golden nuts uh well could be that they are not that accurate or that good but they are still i believe pretty similar to what you see in unity for example or or in other engines so that's actually pretty good uh so that is okay uh, it's even doing here a twin callback so it's having callback here for when this sequence finishes and it's calling just here q3 which is amazing so once again the job has been pretty good at it now uh here this model has thought for just 19 seconds even though well here i select the standard thinking time i don't know if it is switching automatically i don't really know and what it has done actually over here is giving me the full script this could be uh because i actually told the gpt to always generate the, the whole script because sometimes uh, you may have seen that when you're handling larger scripts it tells you okay add this function over here add this call over here you have to follow like 10 steps to get it done and sometimes it's just better to just copy paste the code see what changes have been made on github and from there go okay but here let's try to use this exact same code it looks a little different so for example here it hasn't divided the lines over here which was pretty cool that the other version did uh at least i, I do like it like that but anyway it's not using set parallel in this case it's using chain which is like a sequence uh it's basically joining these all steps together but the code at least at the first sight looks very very similar okay so let's just check if it still works if it has the same error whatever it is so it doesn't have any error <laughs> okay so it was even better but the effect is kind of weird yeah, it, it kind of looks down. I don't know why it has thought that that would look juicy, but, you know, it, we weren't so specific, but it does work, okay? And, but well, as you can see, the, the effect was a little bit simpler, maybe didn't feel that well. So, what I really, of course, is just one test to actually do a whole test about it. We will have to be using it for uh, way more things. But what I can tell you, I've been using it a lot okay for unity and c sharp that's the main language and engine that i work with okay currently uh so i didn't really have the chance to write a lot with godot but what i have what i can tell you from the past videos that, for the past videos that we've done and this one and for what we can read in the article there aren't that many uh improvements okay we always have the, the same th problems that we always have for example not having syntax highlights sometimes throwing um discontinued code okay basically code that is from Godot 3 or that doesn't work in the latest versions okay that's something that we have to deal with unfortunately uh so it's basically it is what it is so what i was telling you is that okay i've used it for my own purposes okay for my own coding in unity and c sharp it was literally the same i didn't feel any differences maybe i do think it was maybe 10 15 percent better also here in Godot, i wasn't expecting it expecting it to be uh, to be able to generate this effect okay that easy okay and and fix the error in a second literally i wasn't expecting that um but it's basically that okay uh it, it could be a little better okay because always these versions improve in all areas it wasn't still as i mentioned an update focus uh, on, on technical stuff okay it was more general more things for personalization for sounding more like a human well all that uh, so that's what I can tell you right now. Is it a complete game changer? I don't think so. I believe it's very similar. 
uh, at least in terms of Godot scripting, okay, and Godot engine itself, it is definitely or could be considered a game changer for other purposes, okay, for your own life, for your fitness goals, for your mental health, for writing, okay, for all those things could have been improved, okay, and I have seen actually very good improvements in that, as you can see, you see, like, for really a lot of things, okay, um, so that's it, okay, I hope you like it, and I will see you in the next one, bye-bye.